Welcome to The Right Stuff from Gold Spot Pens, a podcast that raises you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, we'll cover pens with summer vibes and tips for traveling with fountain pens. Lastly, I'll give away something on my desk. So to start off talking about pens for the summer, just in time for the summer, this is the new Sailor Pro Gear Moonlight Over the Ocean. This collection embodies a serene feeling of a seaside evening spent watching the moonlight kissed ocean. This pen is an eye-catching sunset orange with yellow highlights featured on the cap and bottom finial of the barrel. It's reminiscent of the full moon sparkling over the surface of the ocean waves. This collection is available in three different sizes, which is kind of like the Goldilocks effect. So you could pick which size is going to be your favorite. You have the Pro Gear Slim, has a 14 karat gold nib. You have the Pro Gear Regular with a 21 karat gold nib. And then you have the Big Bad Mama, the King of Pen, fountain pen with a 21 karat gold nib. The design of the resin has a slight translucency, so you can see somewhat of the nib through the cap, and you can see kind of through the barrel as well. And the barrel, this kind of terracotta-ish orange, has a slight degree of meta shine, so it does catch the light, and you can see a little hint of sparkle. Not Bennu-type sparkle, but just like a glistening of sparkle. The Pro Gear Slim and Pro Gear Regular sizes are available in seven different nib sizes, so you could go from a very, very fine point in the extra fine all the way through broad, music and zoom which are laid down a much broader line so you have a different degrees of nib styles to best suit your handwriting and then you have the king of pen which is on a whole other level because it is the largest of the three nibs and this nib is only available in medium and broad and while the pro gear regular and slim kind of have a very stiff gold nib the king of pens nib is much softer and much smoother, even with compared with the 21 karat on the Pro Gear regular. All three pens fill with the Sailor proprietary cartridge or converter, of which both are included in the box. And you'll find this entire collection of Moonlight Over the Ocean at 20% off the retail, plus free shipping at Gold Spot. For our review of the week, we have another summer pen, which is the Caveco Frosted Sport in Banana. Elise L writes, write smoothly, because of the color, it feels like I'm writing with candy. Love it. The Caveco Frosted Sport is included in our collection of summer vibes fountain pens. And I tend to agree with the feeling that this feels like either candy or maybe a lemon ice that you would get from uh, you know, the ice cream truck or something like that and it just has a slight translucency similar to the pro gear moonlight over the ocean where you can somewhat see through the material here um, but this is at much much more affordable price starting at 25 dollars for a fountain pen whereas the pro gear regular with its gold nib is much more expensive but we have other options too so there's a lot of summer themed beach themed type of options and i pulled a few pens so we could take a look at them here on this podcast so first we have last year's edition of the Estabrook SD, which is the Maui. And this marbled acrylic pen uh, has kind of a bomb pop sort of feel where it has layered transitions that uh, go from very, very colorful hues of red, green, and turquoise slash kind of sky blue uh, trimmed with gold trim here. And this is the oversized version. So this is the big, big version of the Estabrook SD. It almost kind of feels a little weird posting the cap on it. Uh, but there's also a regular size version and, and folks have been taken to this type of pen because it looks phenomenal. It's very, very uh, reminiscent of Maui and its tropical feeling and has just such a colorful, vibrant personality, uh, but not to be trumped by other pens that we have on this list as well. And another pen that also has a similar summer vibe is the Leonardo Momento Zero in Aloha, another Hawaii reference. So this also has a transitionary ombre type of effect, um, but it kind of looks more like 
a very clean swimming pool or maybe the crystal clear waters uh, that are in Hawaii. So it transitions from a pale sky blue to a turquoise to then a dark blue and has, has like white veining that kind of goes throughout all the marbled resin. Uh, this also has a steel Yovo number no. six nib. Uh, so both of these are Yovo nibs, but you'll see that they kind of have a different design on them. Whereas the, you have the Estabrook branding on one, you have the Leonardo stamped uh, La Fenice nib branding on the other. They both use international cartridges or converters. But if you're looking for something that's a more elegant high-end type of pen that truly seems like you're taking a day at the beach, we have the Scribo feel Spiaggia Rosa. This is a pen that looks as though you've kind of taken the beach and put it into a pen, but this is resin, but it, it has a, a kind of a grain and a swirl that's unique to each pen. It has a slight, even though it, it has uh, beige tones and it's brown, it does have like a slight kind of pinkish nude sort of hue. And it certainly does carry some transparency through, let's say, the, the thinner areas of the acrylic where you could kind of see some of the, the screw threads in the grip section. And you can see some of the, the piston mechanics as well. Uh, so it, it varies per pen for sure. And you can see that there's just the, in the darker areas, you have bigger concentrations of that kind of that sand grain that goes throughout the entire pen. This is a piston fill fountain pen with nibs that I've gushed about before, particularly on this podcast when we're talking about our exclusives that we've made with Scribo. And uh, this one particular is an 18 karat gold nib. It's ruthenium uh, plated, so it's a little bit on the darker side than a normal stainless steel or a, uh, a white gold type of plating. And uh, it just writes beautifully. So uh, this is more of a vibe, I think, if you, if you really, really are a big fan of the beach, uh, this Spiaggia Rosa uh, definitely captures that sandy feel of a beautiful beach. And since we're talking about summer pens, and you guys had asked a lot of questions last week about vacations, taking trips with your pens, so I picked a question of the week that's also kind of the tip of the week uh, from Fallon Eureka, who writes, with summer approaching, I do think it's appropriate to ask, what tips do you have for flying and traveling with fountain pens? So I went to the archives with this. I performed an experiment on Goldspot's trip to Germany back in 2019 to see if I could take several different types of filling mechanisms and see if they'll leak on a plane. So I had a Pelican M205 piston fill pen, I had a Moonman M2 eyedropper fill pen, a Lamy Safari with a converter, and a Kaveco Sport with a cartridge. I put the pens in my carry-on bag, stored point up with the cap on, and then wrote with them at 10,000 meters. I'm happy to report that no pens or clothing were harmed in the test. So from my experience, the worries about fountain pens leaking on an airplane are, in my opinion, over-exaggerated. But here are some tips anyway that I would give to a prospective pen traveler to foolproof their journey. So first you're gonna be mindful about the pens that you bring on your trip. While you pack your luggage, consider the pens that you'll wanna bring. Also consider how long will you be gone? Will you be adventuring outdoors? Will your pens stay inside safely in the hotel room? Realistically, how much do you even plan on writing during the trip? Answering these questions will help determine what kinds of pens are better suited for your travel companions. For example, if you are planning on hiking and jotting a page a day in your journal for about a week, then pop a fresh cartridge into a Kaveco Sport with a pocket clip. If you want to write non-stop on a non-stop flight halfway around the world, then a vac filling custom 823 or a Opus 88 eyedropper with a shutoff valve will help you go the distance. So my next tip is to fully fill your pens prior to departure. Air inside of the reservoir is what you might see react to pressure changes or temperature changes. Like you see with this converter here, uh, there's an air bubble that's taking up about half the capacity of the converter. And what may happen is if the pressure changes dramatically or the temperature changes, if it's being exposed to direct sunlight on a hot day, the air inside is going to expand and then will want to push out the ink that's inside the pen. So a fully filled pen is less susceptible then to leaking or burping. Another tip is to try and not jostle your pens around. Keep your pens as stationary as possible. That's stationary with an A-R-Y, not 
E-R-Y. The only times I've ever experienced my pens leaking were after being bumped and jostled around in my bag. The ink would then leak into the cap and sometimes get onto the grip section. To help prevent pens from leaking into the cap, I recommend storing them in a pen case with bands that can hold them separate from each other. Keep that pen case upright so that nibs are pointed toward the sky. Write about all your summertime adventures in a notebook that invites exploration. This new Itoya Portfolio Oasis National Parks A5 notebook comes in six different colors, each honoring a U.S. national park. We feature the Itoya Portfolio Oasis as one of the friendliest notebooks for fountain pens. As I talked about in our top five notebooks video, the Japanese-made paper accommodates a broad range of inks and nib sizes. Its smooth, cream-colored pages have a unique format that combines ruled, dotted, and grid layouts. The flexibility of the format allows you to journal, plan, brainstorm, take notes, and capture the moment on paper. Each notebook has 80 sheets, which amounts to 160 pages, lays flat, and it's available for $17.99 each on the Goldspot website. Congrats go to Fallon for submitting the question of the week. You win the Estabrook SD fountain pen I mentioned in last week's video. For this week's giveaway, I have a Narwhal Peter Pen Signature Edition fountain pen that we discovered in our stock room. It is a piston filling pen. It has a medium steel nib and comes with a signature card from the artist and YouTube sensation, Peter Draws. To enter, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. I'll pick a question to answer in that next episode, and that will be our winner. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.